Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate the safety beams and what they're used for and how to go about using them. Alright, so just to show you what you're going to be looking at, this is the principle of the safety beams. Now the purpose of the safety beam is to detect if there is something in the way, which means that there is a transmitter and a receiver and you will effectively put these on opposite sides of probably a doorway or a gate, a gate away, uh, anywhere where there's moving traffic for example people moving in and out of a doorway or a some sort of gate area all right and the reason why we have this is if there is a moving gate and you don't want the gate to close on someone then we have the safety beams it could also be for a garage door maybe the garage door is closing like this and then you don't want the garage door to continue closing if somebody or something is in the way and that's what these safety beams are for they usually connect to another uh, device. It could be connected even to an alarm system because you might use the safety beams also as a detector. So I will now uh, go and open these and show you what you're going to see inside. Now there we go, there's the one and there's the other. Now if you look closely you will see there's a photo diode here and here as well. Now these two uh, diodes, what the one is, the one sends a signal the one receives it. The one is sensitive to the receiving uh, signal and what happens is when the the uh, transmitter sends the signal and then somebody's in the way for example if somebody's in the way well then the receiver knows that because the signal is broken because if you have the two sitting like this and the signal is going from transmitter to receiver and the receiver detects that there's something in the way well then what will happen is it will activate this little relay here and that's why this side has got these connectors. Now this side still needs to have power. So you will need a positive and negative. You can get wireless um, safety beams. I mean, there's just maybe a, what's a, maybe a little battery like this, a little triple A battery, but I prefer the wired ones. Otherwise you forget that the battery needs to be changed every year or so. So you'll just need to connect positive and negative, And this thing then just, all it does is it transmits all the time. So you connect positive and negative and this thing will transmit all the time and then only when the other side is also wired positive and negative this thing will just receive all the time. So there will be a constant signal all the time telling the the receiver that the there is nothing in the way. You see once something is in the way you're br effectively breaking the beam. That is why it's called a safety beam. That's the beam. That uh, LED there is transmitting, or this photodiode, sorry, not an LED, is transmitting all the time. And once you break it, then the receiver knows that the signal is broken and it'll activate this relay. So that's why on this side of the safety uh, uh, beam you will have positive and negative that is powering up the board. There's a little microcontroller and there's the uh, photodiode receiver and there's the relay. And then we'll see normally closed, normally open and common. This is really just the contacts on this relay. So it, you, if you measured it, you'll find that once the relay activates, then you will find continuity across the normally closed, the normally open. So it, obviously the relay will contact and then it will change the state. If it was normally open, it will go to normally closed, for example. And the purpose of this is, as I said, that once the receiver um, acknowledges a break in the signal, it closes the relay, and then we will see that this, uh, this relay will then provide continuity here, telling your maybe your gate motor, your garage door motor, even your alarm system, that something or somebody is in the way between this transmitter and this receiver. So that is the principle of operation of the uh, safety beams. And if you just inspect here, I don't know if you can see in the camera, this is a, a little bit like, um, like a lens. There we go. And it is dark. The sun will affect it. And that is one of the reasons why this is dark. And then also it is supposed to, when you install them, you are supposed to keep them in alignment. You can't have the one like that because then obviously when you install it, the beams, the, the, the uh, transmitted signal will be misaligned. So it's very important to align these and then you'll cover them and you're good to go. So now I'll show you an example of this already installed and how it functions. 
just before I go and show you the safety beams, I just want to show you a different beam. This is an alarm beam. Now an alarm beam works on exactly the same principle as a safety beam, except for it is made for firstly alarm systems, usually for a detection of a much longer distance. So this beam here, these beams here, are, can easily detect over 20 meters. For example, this beam, these two beams, this beam is, is facing that way and this beam is facing this way and I'll just show you how far these beams are actually uh, um, detecting from. Now if you look right on the wall over there, that is well over 20 meters away, that is an alarm beam. So that's not, uh, you wouldn't usually use a, an alarm beam as a safety beam, although it would do the same thing. All right, so let's just get back to the safety beams and I'll show you the main use of these safety beams. Right, so on the wall over here, you'll see there's one of the safety beams and that happens to be uh, the receiving side. And then if you can hear that clicking. Well, what is happening is I am putting my leg in the way of the transmitter and the receiver. So if you have a look at the, uh, the transmitter, there it is. Now, as you can see, I went and covered the beam, and it could be anywhere in the middle. I mean, I could break the beam over here, over here. And wherever you are but in, in between these two beams, as long as you cut the transmission uh, signal, which is coming through the air, then you are activating the beam. So what that implies is that you have to connect the safety beam to something. There's no point having a safety beam just for the sake of it. It has to be connected to your controller or your motor. Now in this case, in terms of this installation, you can see there's an electric gate here. And that if somebody goes in the way of the beam, like here, it tells the motor, or it tells the control board that the, there is someone in the way. Now I'll show you another installation. Right, now in this installation you can see you have a garage door and most garage doors are not safe. They don't have safety beams and that's why it's a good idea to put your safety beams for your garage door. So I do have a video explaining how to co connect the safety beams which you may watch. So what you'll do is you'll effectively have one safety beam there and one safety beam there and they'll be wired to the garage door. And then we'll wire to the garage door controller. And then what happens is if there's a car in the way or if a child's running out or if there's an obstruction, then the door will not close onto that. And that's the p purpose of the safety beam. Right, earlier I spoke about the alarm beam. Now this happens to be an alarm beam. Now just to give you an idea on the difference between the alarm beam and the safety beam is the alarm beam is firstly much larger and also can go to a much uh, longer distance. While the safety beam is usually for short distances, maybe five meters. But you ain't going to give the safety beam is not designed for a 20 meter distance and therefore it is uh, usually cheaper. Also, I don't know if you noticed there is that relay. Most uh beams here are more are, have a reed relay which is a much smaller relay and it doesn't uh usually look like this now you might ask could you use safety beams for an alarm yes you could and what you would do is maybe you want to put this between a doorway and there's nothing wrong with that you could put this between a doorway uh, one meter or even on your gate and you could connect the safety beam also to an alarm or to an alarm system so a safety beam could also help you with activations in terms of intruders so right now just to show you a, the difference if you have a look at the uh, uh, receiver here it is much more elaborate than the tiny little photo diode there so as you can see how the focusing system here is quite is, is quite elaborate while this is uh, much more simpler and that's obviously why it's, there's a difference in the price but also that the distance is is quite different the detection distance right so that brings me to the end of the video and i hope you now know what safety beams are for and if you'd like to see how to install these please watch my video on how to install safety beams thanks for watching cheers